Hi, this is Romantic House, and I'm here to talk about communication today. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for you and for me. And I say to myself, what a wonderful world. Well, communication has changed. It started when there was the pagers. Do you remember them? The beeping that went all over? First you thought it was for druggies, but then everyone had it. I gotta go check my pager. Someone paged me. Did you page me? And then the answer machines. Well, the answer machines with the little cassette tapes, you remember them? Everyone loved them because you could screen your calls. I have to admit that today, I love my answer machine. And my friends will tell you that. Because I leave crazy messages all the time. I just love it. But then there were cell phones and the Blackberries. You go out to dinner, everyone has a Blackberry. And you wonder, and when they're looking down at that Blackberry, who's more important? Me? Or are you waiting for that Blackberry to ring? You hear them go off at the restaurant, you hear people talking. And it's so inconsiderate. Can't they just get rid of it? Then you have the internet services, with the social networking. You have Facebook, you have MySpace, you have Friendster, you have Twitter, and there's many more that I don't know. It's great because you meet many wonderful people, but it's also a curse because you spend so much time on it that you neglect the ones you love. You know, you can't talk to the ones you love. You look at your computer, you want to get back on. We self-isolate ourselves. I know I have a child who would love to be in a bubble with just his computer and his webcam probably and not have to talk to anybody face to face. But we all can't have autism. We're all not afflicted with it. So we have to talk to each other. But I see a sci-fi movie in the future with the way it's going and I can see us all being in bubbles. And just talking to each other through webcams. I could see that happening. And I'm sure there was a movie probably made about it. You know, the post office wants to cut one delivery day because people aren't mailing letters or aren't paying bills anymore through the P.O. box. <laughs> but they're doing it online. We don't write letters to anymore. How do I love thee? Let me count the ways. Can you look at your loved one? and write a letter to them and tell them how you feel? Can you do it without doing it online, without texting them? I wonder. When I walk down the street, I see all these people talking, wondering, and they're looking at me, and I start answering, like, oh yeah, my day's great, how's yours? And they look at me like I'm strange. And then I see they have the Bluetooth in their ear. Everybody's walking, you don't even know if they're crazy, should you cross the other side of the street, or what? You don't know anymore. It's getting really strange out there. But with communication, you wonder how far we'll go. How far can we go that we will self-isolate ourselves? Will we just depend on the computer, as I said before? So this Valentine's Day, this is my thought. Can you put that Blackberry away? Can you turn that computer off? Can you talk to your loved ones face to face? Can you call up a loved one and talk to them on the phone and not feel uncomfortable? If it does get to a point that you feel uncomfortable, you need to go check your Blackberry, then that's a problem. And that's what should be looked at. Our kids with their cell phone bills and everything and parents who are afraid to cut the phone for them because a the kid has to communicate. When we were younger, we did it without phones. We communicated. We were out there talking face to face. Cut off the phone. Maybe it'll help those kids. <laughs> I know I'll get bombed for that or something, but we have to start thinking that we have to communicate. The world is so big but so small. And we have to start talking to each other. And going online and everything, it's great. But if you neglect, again, the personal side of communication, then where are we going? And that's my comment for today. So Valentine's Day, enjoy yourself and look at the person you're with. 
okay? And I say to myself, what a wonderful world.